Hey guys, this is Jeeve, and welcome back to some more Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. So last episode, we actually got Mia and Nash back in the party. And we're going to head to the Nanza Barrier to uh, take a look for this uh, red dragon. Become a dragon master. You know, a badass. Since we already met the white dragon, now we're the only ones in the world capable of stopping Galleon, of course. So let's do that. Oh man, these dragon wings are awesome! So we're just gonna warp there. Oh, totally forgot her uh, ex boyfriend's here. I'm sure we won't be running into him anytime soon. Mm hmm. Shit. Damn it, Zenobia. Kidnapping more singer girls. Hey, works for me. Oh, that's right. She's trying to kidnap a girl. <laughs> One very ugly girl. <laughs> oh, pardon my heels. What's the world coming to when a decent lady has to be so vulgar to protect herself? And now let's end this cheap charade. You and your boys need to learn some manners, sweet cheeks. He does not make an attractive woman. <laughs> Oh, Kyle, you're awesome. And you're kind of a prick. All right, and we go solo with Kyle now. He's uh, a a very good fighter, much like Alex. He has a couple of uh, pretty nice moves. He even has a self buff move, power up. I'm just gonna use a uh, power sweep. I should take care of them all. Of course, these guys are a lot scarier than they uh, well, they look a lot scarier than they really are. Like so. All right. Sounds like a boss. Or a mini boss. What? You're not you're not gonna monologue for us? How disappointing. <laughs> Curvaceous.
Yes, why is he cave uh, kidnapping singers? Anyways. <laughs> I love his uh, reasoning. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Ha, <laughs> what the hell? Alright, so the game really wants you to talk to him right now. I mean, look, he's standing right there just waiting to be talked to. But, we're not going to do that yet. Because this very, very short window is the only time in the game that we can look at his bed. And get the revive. Yeah! It's pretty, it's pretty uh, small window. You. Uh, let's take a peek at let's, let's take a peek at this thing real quick. Oh, for once, uh, Alex doesn't hold it in his grimy little hands. So let's see, it's number four, right? Yeah, hot in the shade. Well, damn. <laughs> Moving on. Now we can uh, go talk to Kyle, now that we stole his little, uh, Vermide. What a guy. See, deep down, he's not so bad. Or, er, maybe not. Alright, so we got a lead. Ha! Oh, Kyle. Don't ever stop being you. Alright. So we are now going to head south into the, what was it, the Marius Zone, I believe they called it. And then we have Kyle in the party. This equipment's not bad. Slightly better than Alex's, actually. And already showed a couple of his skills. You know, his uh, single attack, his area attack, his release the weasel attack. So we shall continue on. Actually, oh my god, I can't believe I almost forgot this. We're gonna make one more trip. We're gonna head back to Althena Shrine. Trust me, it's worth it. head into the second chamber here. You remember that uh, crazy crazy girl who thought she was Jessica's sister? Right here. Yeah, she's a little, uh, a little crazy. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun trip. But if we talk to her twice, we'll get a new item. Ta-da! Another Bramide. It's not a shrine. It's just an altar. Alright. Look at that. It's the Jess Bramide episode. And that was number one, right? Oh yeah, number four is way better. But hey, that means... Oh, actually hit the wrong button. I don't want to save yet. That means... That uh, we still have to find two and three. Ooh, should be fun, right? So we got Facias, Royce. So we're still missing the third one. Which her name escapes me. I have a horrible memory. Zenobia, there we go. And 
Wait, where the hell? I, okay, there it is. Mia. We have Mia's revive too. Which I'll add to my collection. Look at that. We got a six already. Okay. So now we can continue on with the main quest. We can head back to the Nanza Barrier. Actually, real quick, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to give this fortune ring to Kyle, because why the hell not? And moving on. I don't I don't exactly remember what luck does. It probably just uh, has to do with, like, critical hits. But it's better than just sitting in my item stash, right? My line of thinking. All right, pray to the statue for good luck, and moving on. Down south. Where's the door? There it is. It's a very short little area here. Just uh, one, one screen, really. Ah, flies! Uh, more of the same enemies in the previous areas of the past, just those butterfly things. That did remind me, though. I want to change up my formation slightly. Put Kyle up here. Just in the middle. There we go. Okay. Oh, got to talk to this guy. Hey. Not a bad idea. Another good point. They always live in those freaky towers that is a pain in the ass to climb. Volcano, huh? Ooh, hot springs, huh? And we did pick up soap a long time ago. Foreshadowing. Oh, jeez. A hunk and a half. a little prick. Alright. So there is actually some treasure we can pick up. It's only one chest. Ah, flies! No, get away! So there are two treasure chests here. One of the green, or not green, the orange slash red uh, lock chests, which we'll be back for later. And we have an angel's tier. You could always use more battle revive items. And that's actually pretty much it for this area. So we're gonna continue on. And oh look, we're already at our next destination. Pretty handy. This is Reza. Let's uh, do some information gathering, shall we? And this is a bit of a shady town, as you'll see why. It is a uh, town of thieves. Let's see, what do we have over here? I like the music. 
rather catchy. Check this place out. I do like beer. That wasn't suspicious. Ah, shit. There goes our semi-new toy. <laughs> the only item in the game that I actually really wanted to keep, too. Gee, thanks, Kyle. Well, first order of business, let's uh, check out the shops. We can actually find a few upgrades in this town. Oh, so there's an invention town to the south. We have an all-purpose item shop here. I don't really think we need anything out of this store. We'll pick up some new weapons and armor. Yes. Damn. Oh, item, uh, what? The armor store first. sound kind of fun. I mean, Kyle seems to be having a blast being a bandit. Sure it was, Kyle. Whatever you say. I want to make sure I have room before I uh, buy any items. There we go. So, we can actually outfit everybody with some stuff, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'll go over the items, if you guys want to read the descriptions. Probably going to pick up uh, everything, really. Alright. Okay, so I've kitted everybody out. Let's go check the uh, weapon shop. A couple of upgrades to be found there. If I can get in there. Alright, as always, I will uh, show off the descriptions real quick before I take a <laughs> with the good, before I buy everything. Alright. And that is the end of that. So let's explore this town a little bit more, talk to the locals. It's not that big of a town. It is a, uh, it is slightly confusing. I guess, you know, count of these lets them run away easier. Damn, some horrible sense of direction. So the store right here just leads outside. So I'm not going to go that way. Q. 
Keep at it, buddy. I'm sure you'll get there. Very confusing town. Yeah. Bunch of uh, just useless rooms. And we're back outside. So let's head to the interior. There's a few more locals we can chit chat with. Hey, look, that's the town to the south with the inventions. Hello? Oh, so you make like block picks and I guess blackjacks. I like inventions. I played Earthbound, I know how useful they can be. Alright, anybody in here? Ah, one person. They're everywhere and all. Hello there, old timer. Well, it sounds like that's where my uh, white dragon wings are. So I really want to get into this filthy flea market. Where the hell is it? That's one plus, I guess. So in here we have the pub. We'll actually see a familiar face drinking at the bar. Just stay calm! Other dicks. Well, ignorance is bliss, I guess. Ah, boo. Here, have another beer. Hey, it's Lake. Yeah, thanks for the advice. And of course, it's Null, it has to be the one that gets robbed. He totally had it coming.
This must be a retroactive rule then. Marriott, huh? Alright. So, we know our next destination. It's nice to have goals. Even though our goals keep changing. Huh. I like this guy. <laughs> All right, so to Marriott. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Next episode, we're going to head to the Northeast and see if we can't find this uh, Thieves Guild member. So until next time, take care, guys. Later.